Okay, hi class, hi people of the community, and hi fellow YouTubers. Today is going to be an interesting topic because we are going to talk about how to get more confidence. Not a very tricky subject, but something enjoyable to discuss. So first of all, confidence just means bringing out the best of yourself. Regardless of who is watching or the setting or your peers, maybe you're in the army on a mission going skydiving. Confidence means having no fear and executing the mission to the best of your abilities, even if you're not in a Hollywood film. So confidence just means being brave, having no fear, and performing to the best version of yourself. Kiki! Kika! Kiki! Kiki! Yeah, so... So, and then, um, basically, what you're doing is you want to bring out the best of yourself, but you want to have no nerves. You want to be relaxed. And it's not a competition between you and other guys. Because say you're, you're going for a job interview or you're teaching a class or you're trying to hang out with friends. If you're always worried about that person's going to outdo me, that person has more tricks up his sleeve, it's not true. They're struggling just as much as you are. Everybody is. I'm struggling with a resume and interview and job just as much as anybody else. And that says something. Everybody is struggling. Michael Jordan is struggling to get a contract for a, an advertising campaign. Not everybody is going to pay Michael Jordan. So everybody needs to perform up to their standard and not worry about what other people are doing because nobody has a free ride. Even the Pope. If the Pope does something bad, he probably has to resign. You know? That being said, how do we perform more better? Well, the first thing is having some experience. So when you're a junior, you know nothing. When you're a junior at a job or at a position or at a role, make sure you just follow orders. Just execute the dumb, routine, mundane tasks. Ask questions. Try your best. And always look to make sure you're double-checking whether you did your job accordingly. Try your best. Don't worry. In one, two, three, four years' time, you will be a senior and you will understand all the crap they told you to do. And then you will tell others to do that crap. So the first aspect of gaining more confidence is just experience. If you go into it as a complete new person, then in four years, you will be a senior person. And you will know what the hell you're doing. Just pure experience at the same role. The other aspect is, in fact, knowing what you're doing. So say you're doing public speaking or at an interview or just at a, at a, at a high stakes conversation with company managers and stuff like that or bosses. If you know what you're talking about, then you can talk like me as slow as possible. I'm the slowest speaker on this entire website. But I know what I have to say. And I just think my way through it. So I speak nice and slow till I get the message across. And that allows me to speak without fear. When you're talking to women, if you know what you want to say, if you know how you want to steer the conversation, if you're okay with awkward silences and just being contempt in the moment, you will have no fear talking to women about any subject. 
You can exchange phone numbers. You can set up dates. You can speak about company matters. You can speak about fun experiences and, and the weather and, and sports and favorite movies and, and how their day is going and compliments, complimenting people and performing nice considerations like holding the door for your opposite sex or women to men, whatever. So one part was the experience, just having, doing the same thing for four years. And the other part is the knowledge. Understanding what you're doing. If you're going to play sports or perform a, a theatrical musical performance, being talented and rehearsed gives you confidence. It's not just rehearsing. If you rehearse one song over and over and over and over again, you will be a little bit better at performing that song. Just a little bit better. But if you are fundamentally talented as a musician, you can go on stage, improvise, talk to the crowd, take breaks. If something goes wrong, you can fill in the gaps. You can cover up people's errors. You can add stuff on the go. Whichever way the show goes, you can adapt to it. So practicing a speech or a speech, if you practice a speech and memorize a speech, you'll be a little bit better at that speech. But if you understand what it is the purpose of the speech and all the background knowledge there is to it, you will be able to deliver it calmly in different directions. Maybe you, you, you forget a segment of the speech and you switch it up in real time. Or you're out running out of time so you cut something out. Or you add something in. Or you improvise. You know, So knowing the fundamental knowledge allows you to steer the direction confidently and calmly about your performance same in sports in sports if you practice your kicks from the right side of the field you practice your corner kicks you'll be good at that but if you just work on your touch if you just work on your control if you just work on your speed if you just work on your just your control your positioning your teamwork then you will be able to confidently go about the field and fit in with the game or the practice some tips just 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 uh and practice practice you know when you practice here's a little tip here's a little advice don't practice big like me don't make a 20 minute video don't make a 10 minute or even five minute guitar song make a 30 second guitar song Record a 30 second clip, something you trained, some little lick, some little riff. Make a 30 second video. When you play sports, do one thing. Just pass the ball to the person next to you. Just take a shot from one area of the field that you're most comfortable at. In basketball, shoot from your favorite spot, spot of the court. When you're playing music, play loudly the sections that you know. And just... Mute the rest of the song. Start small. Start very small. Why not? It costs you nothing. As you go on the journey to expertise and mastery and gaining that confidence, you can just practice small. It, it costs you nothing. It, and in fact, it's a lot easier. Like when I was starting off the guitar, I had to perform an entire performance with, with a band in a live pub. And I was not that talented. So it was uh, it was trying. I had to dress nice and I had to show up on time and I had to play the right song that I was on, on the correct song. And I had to memorize the song and then I had to improvise a solo and then I had to back the correct rhythm and I couldn't. Just you're just looking at the audience. You're not looking at your band members. You're not. There's no notes in front of you. You're just live music. So you just have to know what the hell you're doing. And that was 
pretty challenging. But if you just chill, play one song, clap, you know, whatever. Maybe play at a smaller venue. I like playing at smaller venues when it was just fine dining, you know. Two people performing in front of people having dinner at a fine dining restaurant. That was pretty fun because it was like practice. You make a mistake, you start over, you you improvise, you change songs, you do what works. It's like that. So that was good. So practice small steps. If you're trying to get better with being social, just talk to your friends. Send messages. Go on social media and, and engage there. No one's going to talk back to you, but reply to other people's comments. Uh -huh. Yeah, so start small gain knowledge, practice, and don't forget it's not a competition. It's not a competition between you and the next person who's going to make the better interview resume, proper questions, proper procedure. Everybody's struggling. Nobody has a free ride. So everybody needs to work. And it's about you performing your best, not about out-competing somebody else. You got to make commitments. You got to make sacrifices. And challenge yourself, you know. Shoot for the stars. Shoot for the stars. Go for the opportunity. To have fun. To have fun. Okay, that was a neat little video. Stay classy, DC. Stay classy, Toronto. Stay high finance, New York City. And stay representable, Chicago. <laughs>